Always read your use and care guide. This video is for informational purposes only. Ice makers can stop producing ice or not produce enough ice for a number of reasons that may not require a service call. This video will review the most common causes and recommended solutions. Connect the refrigerator to the water supply and make sure the water shutoff valve is fully open. A kink in the water line can reduce water flow, resulting in decreased ice production. Small ice cubes and or hollow, irregularly shaped ice straighten the water line. Review your use and care guide for specific instructions to turn on the ice maker. Often, these are found in the ice maker and storage bin section. After connecting the refrigerator to a water source, flush the water system. Wait 24 hours for ice production to begin. It can take up to 72 hours for full ice production to begin. Discard the first three batches of ice produced. Flushing the water dispensing system forces air from the water line and filter and prepares the water filter for use. Additional flushing may be required in some households. Using a sturdy container, depress and hold the water dispenser paddle for five seconds. Release the dispense paddle for five seconds. Repeat steps one and two until water begins to flow. Once water begins to flow, continue depressing and releasing the dispenser pad. Five seconds on, five seconds off, until a total of three gallons, which is 12 liters, has been dispensed. Verify that the household has adequate water pressure to test the water pressure, place a measuring cup beneath the water dispenser. Press the water dispenser. The water dispenser should dispense one cup of water in eight seconds or less. If the home has a reverse osmosis water filtration system, it may cause low water pressure, which can impact ice production. If connected to a reverse osmosis system, the following items may improve the water pressure. Allow the storage tank on the reverse osmosis system to refill after heavy use. If the refrigerator also has a water filter, remove it. Check that the sediment filter in the reverse osmosis system is not blocked and replace if necessary. If questions remain regarding water pressure, contact a licensed qualified plumber. Always follow your use and care guide, included with every product or available online at www.maytag.com.